Hello, hi, and welcome to the next video in our Unity tutorial series. Today we will cover the topic animations, something very essential you find it everywhere. It's very, very extremely important. So that's why we talk about, but only the basics. There's more to it that will uh, get to you in later videos. But right now we're just talking about the basic, basic animations. In that sense, we've got, uh, this is my first level here. What I will do is I copy my first level, Clicking on it, Control D duplicates it. That is my level four now. I open level four, so that's level four. Uh, what I want to do is the following. I want to get rid of all of these bad boys. And what we want to animate is the following. Those are right now, they're stuck in place. They're static, they're just sitting there. Uh, they, they just sit there, that's it. What I want to do is they should go like this all the time. Right? They should go doop, 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 doop. doop all the time over and over and over again forever and that we can do with a simple animation in the second uh, part i also want to have all of these they should become bigger and smaller bigger and smaller also an animation but let's start with those little bad boys here in the beginning adding animations is actually very very simple you select the component and uh, the the game object and then you add a component there's a so-called, uh, if you search for just anim for animation, there's animation and an animator. We only, we want to add only an animation right now. An animation is one thing. It's very simple. It goes back and forth or it opens once. Uh, it doesn't have like it opens, then it jumps, then it burns, then it disappears, it disappears, stuff like this. No, that is then an animator. We want just an animation, which is one thing. Um, but before we can work with animations, we want to open the animation window as well. So we go window, there is animation, and there's the animation window. The simple, very, very simple animation window. I usually take it and put it down here because you see it's quite big. So now with the animation window open, we could simply click on create. That would create an animator which is more complex, an animation controller. We want to stick, stay simple with just an animation right now. So if you go on add component and click on animation, click, you will see that window down here will also change. And now it will only ask for creating an animation clip because it already sees, hey, there is an animation connected to this. Oh, okay, what's the animation clip? What should it do? Now, we need to create the animation clip. So if we click on create, it will ask us, where do you want to save that? And the best would be, of course, in a folder called maybe animations or so. Folder animations. And let's give it a thing, a name, uh, bouncy uh, 001. It doesn't matter, it's just an animation name. Uh, it, you should give it a good name so you know what it is. It's back and forth in my case. Maybe I should be call it back and forth. Depends on how you program, how your style is. I will just call it Bouncy001. So now I've got Bouncy001 down here. Uh, and what you can see is the following. This is a timeline. The first thing, if it's not set in your case, there's those three little dots. If you click on them, uh, the, the lower ones, you can actually say this should be in seconds or in frames. Frames is frames of your game. If you have 60 F frames per second, that means one second. Uh, but I prefer actually doing it in seconds because I can feel, I know what a second is. I don't know exactly how much is 60 frames. Um, and now I've got this bar that I can drag and drop. Right? <clears throat> what I like to do more than adding Properties. I can add properties at any given point in time. I can go to 0 0.3 seconds, add property, transform, and I can say uh, position. I want to add a position here. We could do that. I do not like to do that. Like you can do it manually, but what I prefer is actually going right to the beginning here and pressing the record button. Right? You've got this record button. If you press it, you will get into record mode and it's red now. Uh, if I now go to one second or so, you see nothing changes. If you want to zoom out, just mouse wheel over it. Uh, those should maybe go back and forth. It takes 1.5 seconds this way, 1.5 seconds this way. So I go to 1.5, um, which is actually here. <laughs> one second, 30 something. I don't know what the scale is. <laughs> um, and what I can do now is I can just simply drag and drop it where I want it. 
and automatically one of those square little things called a keyframe is being added by Unity. If I now drag and drop down here the scale, you see it just moves back and forth. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. If I want something else in between, it should go there in between. You see, it goes like this now. It automatically calculates the points in between, but I don't want to do that, so I select it and delete it. And you see I'm back at the uh, start where I was. So I want to stop recording, and that is the animation now that we have. That's it. That is our animation. Very simple, very, very easy. Um, now we just need to say the animation here. Which clip does it use? The clip, hey, the clip we just made. So uh, let's search for it. And we only have one clip in the project right now, which is bouncy001. Now also what we need to do is when you can double click on bouncy001 or go project. And there I'm already in the right folder. You see bouncy has a so-called wrap mode. That is, do you want to repeat the animation afterwards? Do you want to ping pong, go back and forth? Should it only happen once? We need to set for every animation. So I go to... Uh, once and if I press play now you will see it just does it once oh we have the music salon if you want to mute the audio click on mute audio <laughs> whoopsie uh, but you saw back there it moved once if you just redo it if we just redo it you see it moves once I don't want to do it once I want to do rap mode loop it would loop is strange because it jumps back to the beginning you will see it jumps back to the beginning. Not what I want. I want back and forth, back and forth, which is called ping pong. So if I do ping pong now, you will see it jumps like this. It goes back and forth and it is now a moving target. And that hits me if I'm at the wrong, if I got bad timing. Perfect. Great. First thing's done. Now the second one, let's just repeat all the steps. Very simple. Uh, we go to our animation window here. We will add on the second bouncy here, we will add a component called an animation, right? We will create a new animation clip by going to the animation window, clicking create. Uh, let's call that maybe bouncy 002. We could also use the same animation using it over and over again, rotating the thing. I don't want to, I just want a second, uh, animation let's record it let's go to uh what did i say 1.5 seconds i cannot even remember 1.3 i think uh let's put that here and let's stop recording and you see it goes back and forth the only thing we need to do is select the clip here bouncy 002 uh let's go to bouncy oh i cannot double click i thought i can double click doesn't matter bouncy 002 let's say also ping pong and that's it very simple. You see, it takes like 15 seconds once you know how animations work. Hey, and look, they have got the same speed and they are just obstacles now. I got hit. <laughs> okay, this gives the game so much more life already. An infinite amount of life that we just gave the game. Um, one more thing is this. I've got all of these that I want to uh, transform at the same time. They should all go bigger and smaller. Right? Therefore, I will make one element that is sitting on top of those. So I will make a new element, create an empty. Uh, it should sit not there, but somewhere around here. That's the parent of those. It sits somewhere there. It doesn't really matter where it is actually. Uh, that's the parent of them. And I will take all of those. That one is bouncy barrier. I will grab all of these. Put them in bouncy barrier and now bouncy barrier can can just simply get the animation you see if i make the y it's all of them at the same time so bouncy barrier make a guess what we do add a component add an animation go to our animation video create a new clip let's call that bouncy barrier 001 let's record all of this let's make it uh pretty slow let's make it maybe two point five seconds uh let's then scale those bad boys up they become big they become big boys and this is how it's going to look like right that's okay and done done recording what we need to do is assign the clip go to the project go select the bouncy barrier we want to ping pong this as well done that is the simplest way to add animations and you see in the background i can already see them becoming bigger and smaller maybe a bit too slow so i gotta wait here a little bit ah, i can't make it no no i'm too slow i was too slow <laughs> gosh dang it um i can make it good 
But that is the basics, basics of animations. We could add more and more animations. I can also reuse those if I want to, right? I could also reuse them. Won't do it right now. That's okay, right? For now, that's okay. 10 minute video, the basic basics of animations. Like, very simple, but it adds so much more character to the game. Love it. Um, if you love this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, click that button, whatever it is. I don't know, but I care. <laughs> uh, and thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.